Hello everyone, welcome to Top 5 Animations of the Week. This is week 8 I believe. This week I've decided to do some commentary over the animations, just to give a bit of advice for anyone that might watch them. So we're just going to get right into it here at number 5, and this week we've got DCW with his Sunset Flip Powerbomb. So this was a really good animation from him. I think the smoothness of the actual flip itself is done really well here. Uh, it's a slight bit choppy on the reaction, but uh, other than that I think it's a really solid animation. I think it probably would have been nice to maybe have AJ move a bit more after the move itself. You know, maybe hold his back or something like that, but yeah, as I say, very good animation this week. So now moving on to number 4, and this week we have Suplex Network with his Purple Rainmaker. Uh, this is another really good animation. Uh, I love the taunt before he jumps off the top rope. Uh, I would have liked to maybe see uh, either Dream or Adam to move a little bit during the pin itself, but uh, the elbow drop was really well done. I think overall the animation looks really realistic, uh, especially the movement from Dream here, so yeah, very well done this week. And at number 3 this week, we have Unstable Animation with his Royal Rumble Part 1. Uh, so overall I think the animations were pretty smooth in this. Uh, I really like the Age of Styles entrance. Uh, a little thing I noticed was uh, sometimes there'd be a frame held a little bit too long. Uh, it kind of distracted a little bit, but nothing too bad. Uh, the big clothesline there from AJ was actually really nice, same with the sliding forearm there. So overall a very good part and I can't wait for part 2. I'm not going to include the whole match here so you should definitely go over to his channel and subscribe if you haven't already, check out the full part because it's very good, very entertaining. And in number 2 this week with a silver medal we've got WON with his 619. I love the joint movements in your animations, they're so good. Uh, there's a few shadows and strings that are a little bit distracting but I'm trying to look at just the animation here and I, I think it's brilliant. Uh, there's a few camera cuts that are a little bit distracting but your smoothness and your joint movements are fantastic and uh, as I say if you work on the camera angles and shadows and stuff it could be fantastic animations for you. And finally at number one we have Suplex Network once again with his leg drop. Uh, once again I think your movements are just so realistic. Uh, the reaction could have been a bit better here but as I said the movements with the hopping up onto the chair and then onto the crate as well as the leg drop itself were really good. Uh, your smoothness is almost always there. Again the reaction a little bit less smooth but overall fantastic animation. That's why you get all five points this week. And taking a look at the leaderboard this week, you can see Suplex Network is way out in the lead now after getting two places this week. Uh, Wardy's still in second. Uh, he's not been animating much for the past couple of weeks, so we'll be interested to see if he can drop down. Uh, JWS owner, he's only been on two weeks, but both weeks he won, so he's in third position. But Unstable Animation is now up to 10 points as well in joint third with JWS owner. We've got a joint fourth as well with ETWF Animations and WON both on 8 points and then joint fifth as well with Nation of Destruction and DCW both being on 6 points. So really a lot of changes this week and it's very interesting to see what will happen in the weeks to come. So that's it for this week, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this voiceover stuff with me actually talking about the animations let me know and I'll maybe do it in the weeks to come if you guys enjoy it. I uh, hope you tune in next week to see what happens.